No, you can come over and sit over here if you want. Excellent. You guys have played Simon Says before, right? You hip to do it? Think you can handle it? You guys want to join in? Will you? All right. Simon Says, put your hand on your head. Very good. Simon Says, stick your right foot in the air. Very good. Simon Says, put your right foot down. Very good. Simon Says, raise your left hand in the air. Good. Now bark like a dog. Oh, you guys are too good. How come you didn't do that? Simon Says, put your hands and your feet and everything down. You wanted to, didn't you? Didn't you want to bark like a dog? You did, yes. How about you guys, did you? I'm sure you did. In our gospel lesson, we don't have Simon says, we have Jesus says. Jesus' voice speaks, and we're supposed to listen. Jesus has given you parents, and your parents are his voice speaking with you. You always like what they have to say? No. How about when they tell you to pick up your toys? You like to do that? Right on, Nora. How about when they tell you to eat something you don't want to eat? Nah, not really. What's that? You eat it as fast as possible? But you don't like it, do you? How about when they tell you to do your homework? You like doing your homework? Well, these two would disagree with you. There's things your parents tell you to do, and you don't really want to do them, do you? You do them, but you don't really want to listen. Do you ever not listen sometimes? I do. Yeah. (laughs) We all don't listen sometimes. And Jesus tells us other things. He tells us in Scripture. He tells us we're supposed to love everyone. Love our friends, definitely. But we're even supposed to love those people that aren't nice to us. Doesn't mean we have to be their friend and hang out with them, but we have to love them and forgive them. There's times I don't want to hear that. I'd rather wish ill, bad things to happen on those that don't like me than pray for good things. But that's not what Jesus said. It's hard to do that. Jesus gives us the power to be able to do that. Because he reminds us that, well, there was a time when we weren't listening to him at all. (coughs) He came to us and in baptism gave us the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit turns our minds and attention back to Jesus because we know how much he did for us. He gave his life for us because he loves us so much. And because of how much he loves us and the forgiveness of sins we have and the gift of eternal life, we start to listen to him. But we still don't listen. There's plenty of times I don't listen. But I'm forgiven. And you're forgiven. You're forgiven when you don't listen to mom and dad You're forgiven when you don't listen to Jesus. And that forgiveness is the power we have to go out and start to listen again. To try to do better at it. Knowing that Jesus is there and his Holy Spirit is there to help us listen and obey. Because when we do listen to Jesus, things go better. And he'll be with us, helping us with that all the way to eternal life. Let's pray. And repeat after me, dear Jesus, Jesus, thank you you for coming into my life, for for telling me what's good, for for pointing out when I don't listen. listen. Forgive me, me. restore me, me. help me to listen better. better. In In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you very much. You guys all did excellent. And Simon says, I'm going to have to find another game to play so I can win and you can lose. That's not right, is it? My cross. Thank you. How's that? Right on. Thank you for telling me that. You guys can head back to your seats. If any would like to go with Miss Chrissy, you can go for Children's Church and